Hi guys, I am Lisa. Today we're going to talk about array functions in WeWork. Right, so let me just create an array. I'm pretty sure we used some of these functions in the last video, but um, it is too often, so let's do that now. Alright, let's say uh, 5, 4, 3, 2. So this is an array. If you run it, it puts it onto a stack. Let's run a function on it. The legs function. It gets the legs of the array. The shape function, it gets the dimensions of the array. The dimension of this array is just 4. But if we turn it into a 2 dimensional array, it's going to be 2, 2. We add like 1 element to it. It's going to become 3, 2. So now, if I use the range function, let me just tag this. If I use the range function, then it's going to create an array numbers from 1 to it's going to create an array from elements 1 to the argument if I say range 25 it's going to say 0 to 24 all right so next function is first it's going to get the first uh, elements of an array it's going to get the first row of an array actually so if I like turn this into a 2 the array and then do first, it's gonna say 5, 4. So if I want to find the first of that one, it's gonna give us 5. Next actually is reverse. It basically just reverses an array. Next, then there's D shape, which makes an array that's not one dimensional to be one dimensional. So let's say this. Go to a one D array. Here we also have the fix function, which I will not going to be going into now because no. And here we have the transpose function. What it does is that it just rotates the shape of an array. Let's say we have a two D array here. Two five. Oh wait, no. Two five. Five, two, three, six. All right, so I got this two array here. Let's run the transpose function. If we run it, it's going to rotate the shape of another one. If we transpose it again, then uh, yeah, so that's just going to keep happening. All right. Now we're going to look at the box function. So we're going to look at the box function. What the box function does is that like if you have an array like this. So if we say 5 underscore 4, 4 underscore 3 underscore 2. Since these are different lengths, they're not being able to be together. So we can use the box function to fix that by boxing both of these values. Because a box is kind of like a data type, so yeah. If I make an array that's automatically boxed, they could just use these curly brackets, and uh, yeah, that's what's, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, so I'm gonna do this. And everything is still gonna fit together because they're in a box. All right. Here is parse. It's probably a array function, but it just parses the string as a number. All right. Next is match. Let's go check if two arrays are the same. Five, four, three, two. Five, four, three, one. Are they the same? No. But if we change it to a two, they will be the same. Next is couple. So we can say five, four, one. And here I'll say 276. Let's go to combine them. If I use a join array, it's going to join them end to end. If I use the, the select function, yeah, it's going to select. It's going to select like the rows, well, the rows of the array. If I say 0, it's going to say. Five. If I say one, it's gonna say four. If I say two, it's gonna say one. So 
or um, reshape, changes the shape of it already. Do we want to make it uh, to uh, four? Yeah, let's make the let's make the target already to be range twenty or something. Alright, so let's say we want to make it uh two two. A two D array that looks like this. And uh, let's say we want to make it a two D array with rows of five. Maybe five D array with rows of two or nine or a hundred or whatever you want. Alright, so then we have the take function. So let's say five. Two, three, four. If we take zero, it's gonna give us nothing. If we take one, five, two, five, two, three, five, two, three, and four, five, two, three, four. In the pick function, oh wait, no, the drop function, it's gonna remove one of the elements in it, right? If I say one, two, three, and four, hit do five. Then there's the rotate up the array, so. We rotate this one by one. It's gonna be four, three, two, five. This element's gonna be put to the bottom. I mean, to to, to to the right. If we rotate two, three, two, five, four. So these two elements are gonna be put to the right. If we rotate three, two, five, four, three. These will be put to the right. If we rotate four, five, four, three, two. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be the normal array. Right. So. We're gonna define function. If we wanna find nine in five four three two, it's gonna say zero 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 because none of them are not. But if we like change one of these numbers to nine, or if we change one of these numbers to nine, it's gonna say zero one zero one. Alright, so So yeah, those are all the array functions that we're gonna be looking at. So that that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So bye.